All right, let's give one of these a try. Oh, it can come off at the top. Eh, no big deal. All right, so let's take a look at this. This is a very interesting tomato. Um, I don't know if you can actually see that fuzz on the outside of it. Try to get you in close. I go too close, you're going to blur, but you look at the very outside edges of it right there, around in that film, and on the other side, of course. All right, I'll try to get you into some light. And it's yellow. This is what it's supposed to look like. And uh, I these obviously going to get bigger. And it just this is a small one, and I'm just doing the taste test. So I, I'm going to be saving the seeds on the other ones. I'm not going to go through all the trouble of doing the seed thing on here. I just want to give you an idea what it looks like. And I need to take a quick snapshot from my photo bucket. snapped away <sighs> sorry guys maybe I'll edit this out I try we say that I never remember I would make these uh, images available to anybody who wants to use them uh, a lot of seed companies will give you free seeds if you give them the images that you you produce and you give them rights to it and they use your images and they will showcase their tomatoes with your images. So anyway, let's cut this open and see what it looks like on the inside. Alright, so we're going to cut it like this. Is there a hair on there? Now, it's probably going to be hot because I was just cutting hot peppers, so that was kind of stupid. All right. All right, I got to get an image of that one. I'll just edit this out. I just got to remember to edit it out. So that's what it looks like on the inside. It's got the three chambers. Uh, maybe a larger tomato might have four chambers, but generally this is the type of um, tomato uh, it looks like on the inside. And we're going to taste it right now. All right, so that's what it looks like. Let's take a bite. Well, just to start off, right off the bat, it's very mild in flavor, but had a very quick, high tang taste. That might be because of the seeds, but it it, uh, it came and gone. No heavy tomato taste. The texture of the fuzz was an unpleasant experience. It's there, but it didn't bother me. Um, I didn't even really notice it. I'm gonna it was, let's try this piece here and see. Hmm. Very mild in flavor. Very, very mild. You're not going to want to make a sauce out of this. Now, you could try, but, I mean, if you had a lot of them. Um, it's a watery type tomato, so it's very juicy. It's not dry. I like juicy, watery tomatoes. Uh, the tomato flavor wasn't very, very prominent, very strong. It, it was, you, you... This is, might be so ripe, it didn't look that ripe, but it might be so ripe, it's just really soft. But the the effect I got from it was that it was a very, very soft um, tomato. Very, very soft. And um, what else was I going to say about that? The flavor comes and goes. It's like gone instantly. It's like, I don't know how to explain it. Not very sweet, but definitely tart. A little bit of sweetness. 
not heavy on the tomato uh, taste side and uh, let's give this one a, a go mm. the only thing that's really got the tartness is the seed area the flesh itself is almost I don't know it's like it's flavorless almost uh, very light on the fl tomato flavor, and that's uh, that's it. Not very sweet. Not slight, very slightly sweet. Not very sweet though. So that's your uh, that's your garden peach, guys.